Now this is the checklist you don't want to miss if you're thinking about selling your home. But before you say, oh, we're not ready yet, don't wait till the last minute to make your home ready for selling. If you want to maximize your sale price, I mean, who doesn't? There are steps you can start taking today. Start by connecting with a real estate agent as soon as possible. Having the, the eyes and ears of an insightful real estate professional on your side can help you boost your home's appeal to buyers. Beginning the preparation process early allows you to tackle repairs and upgrades that can increase your property's value. I'm Kimberly with Guide Real Estate in Sacramento. I'm going to give you three examples of things you can do a month or two before you list. Make minor repairs, refresh your, your design, declutter, and depersonalize. Look for maintenance or repair issues such as water spots, pest activity, and rotten siding. This is also the time to care of those small annoyances like squeaky hinges, sticking doors, and leaking faucets too. Many of these issues can be handled by going the DIY route and using a few simple tools. Tackle the ones you can and be sure to call a professional for the ones you're not able to do yourself. I can refer you to local service providers who can help. Remember that it's easy to overlook these small issues because you live with them. When you work with me, you get a fresh set of eyes on your home so you don't miss any important repairs that could make a big difference to buyers. Next, refresh your design. This is a great time to think about some simple design updates that can make a significant impression on buyers. For example, a fresh coat of paint is an easy and affordable way to spruce up your home. Painting the inside of your house can have a return on investment as much as 107%, but for broad appeal, choose warm neutral colors. Never underestimate good curb appeal. Homes with good, good curb appeal sell for 7% more on average than ones that don't have it. Consider laying fresh sod where needed, plant colorful flowers in pots, and some add some new mulch to your flower beds. A survey by the Real Estate Staging Association found that staged homes sold faster and 73% sold over list price. I can refer you to a local stager or offer insights and suggestions if you prefer the DIY route. Example three is to declutter and depersonalize. Doing a little bit of decluttering every day is a lot easier than trying to take care of it all at once right before you decide to list your home. A simple strategy is to do this one room at a time, working your way through each area whenever you have a little bit of extra time. Start by selling, donating, or discarding items that you no longer want or need. Then pack up any seasonal items, family photos, and personal collections you can live without for the next few weeks. And this will give you a head start on packing for your move. If you want to find out what other tips and tricks are on my seller's checklist, just click on the link in the description. Even if you're not planning a move just yet, this is a valuable resource to keep on hand. And if you are thinking about selling, contact me today to schedule a free consultation. I'd love to help you maximize your home's sales potential.